I'm a dirty money, won't put that shit in the shower. And turn the lights off, but the money still bring power. Serve the lot away, but I shall have baby powder. Got my gun at every show, I'm if it ain't crowded. I barely sleep, but when I do, I just be dreaming. You know I came from the bottom like bikini. When I'm getting home to the perks, I be fiending. Why would you tell me that you love me, you don't mean it? My life was hard, it just had to be. Let me turn my dreams to reality. Aren't so fat, then demons after me. Hey, what's your aim? Just came back in this thing. Case you go to eat, sleep with a cut up between I want to If you don't know that song, that's off Lil Baby's album that dropped, I think, in 2018. The same year he dropped the collab tape with Gunna Drip Harder. He dropped, um. Did he drop like three albums that year? I'm sorry. But he dropped the thing. What's that shit called? Oh, freak, freak, freak. He dropped Street Gossip with no cap on the song. That's the last, that's the outro of the tape that's called Dreams to Reality. And the reason I'm singing it because sadly, no cap has gone into some more trouble. Now, before I get into the story, like, subscribe, share with a friend, you know what I'm saying? Go to my Sean, like, and then we know we in this thing. We keep it in there, you know, we in there like swim way, you know what I'm saying? But, anyways, we gotta get back to this now. Now, we here. Now, it says, his legal troubles continue to haunt him. No cap has surfaced on Instagram on Instagram to update his fans. You know, last year he also went to jail too and he got all he dropped um he dropped the tape yet. You know what I'm saying? And we was waiting for his return. Or he was in jail and he dropped the tape. Whatever happened. But anyways. That Alabama rapper was wanted in police connection to a shooting. According to local reports, no cap sister was allegedly involved in an altercation with two other individuals when the rapper arrived at the scene. Later Allegedly, he fired off shots into a house before leaving with his sister by its side. At this time, Sergeant Laderic Dubois, or Dubois, Dubois, whatever the fuck, you know, with the, mo with the mobile de police department, explained the victim and another subject were involved in an altercation that turned physical. The subject then summoned <laughs> summoned aside for mr crawford to show up mr crawford showed up arrived at the scene and the victim fled into the house mr crawford then fired shots into the house and then fled with his sister no cap was wanted for was a wanted fugitive for a short period of time before he turned himself over to the police on charges of shooting into an occupied dwelling and reckless endangerment earlier today so Again, yesterday, you know, he shed light on his current circumstances, telling his 1.5 million uh, Instagram followers that he once again turning himself over to the authorities and announced he's releasing an album. I got 30 days to turn myself in, and I'm a in and Ma Ma Dukes tested positive for COVID this morning. Y'all pray for her, the rapper. Wrote, I don't know how long I'm gonna be in there. Just wanted to appreciate my family, fans, and friends for rocking with me. Uh, yeah, for rocking with me. Continue to do that while I'm away. I'm not going. I'm not gone. Promise y'all nothing, because I know the process of dropping an album isn't is not overnight. But I'm most definitely pushing for the beginning of the year, Mr. Crawford. The album is so soon. Check out the post below. Man. And it's crazy, you know, we just seen him. He dropped an album earlier this year, maybe. You know, saying so he was on the NBA collab tape, you know, that, that was also a story. If you haven't seen that, you know, hopefully it pops up here that basically he was Lil Baby's artist or he had something to do with Lil Baby and kind of NBA young boy kind of swooped in and he's on 4KT or some ish like that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like majority of the other rappers are from Louisiana and then we have Quando who's from Atlanta and then we have him from, who's from Alabama so it's crazy how the roster is so it's just sad bro because I see no cap coming up like he's just been going crazy you know what I'm saying I even had him this year as one of the niggas that should be on the double XL if he hasn't turned it down or whatever if we're just going off the freshman list for 2021 I would put I would think he would make that shit off rip there's a couple, maybe he dwindled down, but he just got out of jail, you know what I'm saying? It's on the collab tape. He had a good year with the albums he did, so I thought he was a shoo-in in my opinion. And then now he might go back into jail, so this is crazy. Now again, it did happen when Chief Keef was in jail, they put his ass on the list. So hey, it was what it was. So we'll see what the hell happens with this. 
we'll see what the hell happens with this. I'm not mad at it. It just sucks, bro. Prayers for Kev, and that's crazy. Your mama got COVID, and your ass is going to jail, bro. That's my worst nightmare. Like, I can't even be there and help out my my, uh, my family, a person I really care about going through that, and you never know what it is. We've seen with Carl Anthony Towns. He lost so many family members to this call. Oh, I said the normal word. Whatever the fuck. I said I shit it. But I read the quote verbatim. I read the quote. Nah, nah. It, nah, YouTube. If you bullshit me because I read a quote. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, nah. I'm on your head for that. But anyways, with that being said, since I already said I don't care, we've seen Carl Anthony Towns, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people died from COVID with his shit. So, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, we know it can take people. Fred the God, some passed away from it as well. We know it could take some people, so it sucks that you being like a son and loving your parents or whoever you love, you can't be there and you're going to jail. Now, again, I don't know what the fuck happened. This is what allegedly happened. I don't know if that's true. You know what I'm saying? So, we just got to sit here and pray. I thought he beat the case when he went in the first time and he got out. I thought he was done with the issue, but apparently he got to go back. And it sucks. You know, if that's the case, I don't know how he got released. And then, I don't know if he paid bond or something and then he got out. But he was in there for a couple months, and then he came home. So I, I just don't know how the fuck it works. But hey, it is what it is, bro. Hey, man, shout out no cap praise to him. Hopefully he get out this jam and, you know, show, show love to his moms. You know, battling in that ish. I know a lot of people battling that ish, by the way, as well. So love to all of y'all as well. But I'm off of this thing, man. We're going to be out here, man. Free free cap. You already know what I'm saying. I'm capping for cap. But anyways. I'm off of this, you know, go check out the other videos, like, subscribe if you like the content, if you like the way I present, just how stupid I am. If you like how trash my background is, shit, subscribe and like as well. But anyways, you know what it is, it's the kid, it's K.A. I'm off of this thing, man. Slimes on PCI, Ice Else Gang.